you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what seems to be hinted slash confirmed news, potentially, for Madden 21, guys. Now, this does come from a commenter that did suggest this, so shout out to him. Don't know his exact name. It was told by someone else. But, point here is, we may have been hinted at theme builder to start the year which is on the lock challenges here now if you guys remember what this was essentially what theme builder was is you put it you got a token from leveling up you put it in the set the set unlocked solos you played the solos got 86 overall theme builder players now if you guys don't know the way this pretty much works is there's 32 sets here one for each team and there's a fan favorite player from each team you know lions had uh Derry slay cowboys had a mark cooper chiefs had i believe i want to say chris jones could be wrong uh but Point of the story is, each team has a player. Now, the way it worked is, you would only play the solos of the uh, set you completed. So, you completed a set, let's say you put in the theme selector solo, uh, the theme selector token, and you got a uniform, a way and home, their playbook, the stadium coach, and then you were able to play the solos. Now, the solos are 16 games long, three minute quarter games. So, the issue with those solos is they did take quite a while, but if you're not, if you're not doing YouTube and you have time to grind, and you're able to do all that on your, you know. For me, I was like, I have to do videos. I don't know when I'm going to find time to play like five solo sequences because you have to do 16, 16, 16 for the players I wanted. So I didn't really get through many. Or at least I tried to. Um, but for you guys have time to do this, I'd highly recommend you do it because it's 86 overall players, which go for like over 100. And you're like, they go from like 70 to 100K the first week of Madden, first two weeks. So obviously you can't sell these, but it saves you coins from buying the actual ones on the block. And these players are pretty cool and they're free, of course. So you can really get your team up there. Now, pretty much, guys, it comes from over on Twitter and some hints we saw and some pictures. Uh, I will show you guys that in just a second, but let me go show you guys these solo challenges so you guys can have a pretty decent idea of how these work. But, guys, before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, bell, boys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. As we get closer to the Madden 21 season, guys, we're like 10 days away at this point. As we do get closer, it helps my channel out tremendously if you guys start showing some more support and we start growing the channel a bit before the year starts. I really want to have a big Madden 21 year, and I think, guys, I think we can grow our base. So, if you're here, smash the like button. If you're a new sub, you won't regret it. Now, anyways, these are the these are the ones I actually completed, not the solos. These are like the sets I did. Never actually went through to play them. But the Cardinals was Marcus Gilbert. The Chiefs was Chris Jones, in fact. Amari Cooper was the Cowboys. Falcons was Alex Mack. Lions was Darius Slay. Panthers were Quan Short. Julian Edelman for the Pats. Akeem Talib for the Rams. Mark Ingram for the Saints. And Daniel, I mean for the Ravens, sorry. And Daniel Hunter for the Vikings. So these are the ones that come here. Now again, there's been plenty of other teams. It's only shown the ones that I did the sets for. But pretty much, I hope we get this as a day one thing again, because guys, after you get past the first preliminary, like, solos, like, you get past the gauntlet, you get past the journey, you get past uh, the day one solos, you know, you know the day one solos, like, the, the, the with the Tyra Matthew, the Marshall Lattimore, like, the, the things that just, like, teach you the game and give you free stuff, once you get past all that, you want to grind. Now, maybe you're not a seasons guy, weekend league is not up yet, come over to these team builders, pick up some free players, you can get a whole bunch, you can get 32 86s if you're that crazy, which I don't think anyone is, but you could. Now... I'm going to head over to the screenshots, guys, so I can show you guys where these hints come from and kind of what we're working with here. So let's go ahead on over and check these out. Guys, okay, so it comes over here. These are the screenshots that kind of hint at what we're talking about here. So this is Madden Mobile. Now, if you guys don't already know, Madden Mobile did come out a few days ago, and they have their own Ultimate Team mode. Now, the thing is, not everything that Madden Mobile comes out with, like new level stuff, like new type of stuff we never see, not that usually transfers over. Like, if they do a, like, they'll do a Blockbuster promo, we won't get that. But things that typically are in Madden already that they put out beforehand, you, you can pretty much mix it up. So, like, there'll be, like, a, a day where Madden Mobile releases Lawrence Taylor Legend. You're like, okay, we're probably going to get a Lawrence Taylor in Madden 21. Maybe not that weekend, but it'll probably be the following weekend. And we end up getting Lawrence Taylor. They will release a Deacon Jones Legend. You're like, okay, cool. We know we have the Deacon Jones rights this year, so we'll be seeing an ultimate team. So you can more or less, like, it's not an exact science, but there is some level of correlation to it. So the fan favorite promo here essentially is a theme builder promo. It's one player from each of the 32 teams. That's like a fan favorite that people like. Um, you have to do things in a set to earn them. Now Madden does it by solos, first set, then solos. They just I think they just do set. And it's essentially almost the same thing. So this kind of hints at the first level of content we do have for Madden 21, which is super exciting because, of course, Madden 21 is super close. And we're, have, we're really waiting for that at this point because that is what is going to rejuvenate everyone's love for Madden. And I'm excited that we got some hint level stuff here. Now, of course, the players probably won't be the same. You probably won't have Thiebel Samuel for the Niners. I think some will be the same, some won't. But it's not. they're not going to do it based off this. They'll probably end up picking their own players out for that. But it is pretty cool that you guys can end up seeing this here. So let's go through it one by one. So Debo Samuel for the Niners. 
Shaquem Griffin for the Hawks. We got Cooper Cup, Andy Lee, and Corey Lindsley now. So, like, Shaquem Griffin would be awesome. Debo Samuel would be awesome. Corey Lindsley would be cool. Cooper Cup may be too slow. Andy Lee's a punter. But again, regardless, these are still cool cards. We got Kyle Rudolph, Tariq Cohen, Taylor Decker, Avante Maddox. Now, Tariq Cohen would be awesome because we got one this year as well in Madden 20 for the Bears. Guys, that, Tar that Tariq Cohen had, like, an 86 speed. He was one of the fastest running backs in the game people chose him over everyone like saquon they chose him over mccaffrey over henry over chubb they chose him over everyone Tariq Cohen was just a guy that was just a great speedy budget back and they guys i'm not i'm not joking Tariq Cohen was so glitchy that first like a few weeks in madden when he had that theme diamond obviously he got outweighed by guys like marcus allen eventually but when once marcus allen was goaded there was no other running back like him but Tariq Cohen was still awesome for quite a while even as a backup Taylor Decker, Avante Maddox, of course, lineman, cornerback, still going to be great. Then we got for the Cowboys, we got Chidobia Woozy, we got Will Hernandez, Morgan Moses, Taysom Hill, and Young Hoku. Now, Chidobia Woozy would be super awesome because I believe he's really, really fast as a speedy, budgety cornerback. Uh, Will Hernandez, of course, is a, just a Giants lineman, so great player. He's on the Giants. Morgan Moses, right tackle, I believe, or left tackle, I forget, for the Redskins. Would be decent again. I'm not too concerned about, like, I would love to pick up the lineman, but the thing is, 17, 16 games for a lineman, it will suck. But at the end of the day, it's funny because linemen are probably the most um, efficient ways to go about this because you're always upgrading your receivers. You always upgrade your quarterbacks, tight ends. But you don't always upgrade your kickers, your punters, and your linemen. So, honestly, the smartest thing to do would probably be to take the, the Morgan Moses, have a nice 86 lineman capped out on your team that you want to upgrade for, like, a month. But, again, we don't always do the smartest things. We do the most fun thing. So that's what we're going to get. Taysom Hill probably, day one. And then go on ahead and then upgrade Mahomes over him and like, or put your Lamar Jackson back in. But you spent 17, oh, 16 games. It probably took you at least a day. But moving on. Shaquille Barrett, Shaq Thompson, Mark Andrews, Steven Nelson, and JC Treader. Shaquille Barrett, great pass rusher. Shaq Thompson, great linebacker. Mark Andrews should be a fast head end if they keep his speed right. Steven Nelson, don't know too much about him. And then we got JC Treader, good lineman again. Um, Again, players aren't going to be the same, but you can more or less get an idea, guys. These reek of, like, theme builder players. I can just see this by looking. Next, we got Alex Erickson, Tyree Kill at punt returner, Shelby Harris, Cleveland Farrell, and Dan Feeney. Now, guys, I promise you, if Tyree Kill gets a theme builder card, which we all know he won't because he's a money grab, if he gets a theme builder card, he's going to be the most... Everyone's going to have him. Everyone's going to play that sequence. You cannot pass up on having a free 86 overall Tyree Kill day one of Madden. It's just, you just can't. So that would be absolutely ridiculous if he does go ahead and get a card on a theme builder. I highly doubt it, though. This guy, Jordan Poyer, Steve McClendon, Devontae Parker, Justin Reed. This should be the second to last screenshot I believe we have here. But again, good guys. Great. Again, they do it based on collecting cards and then getting the card. Ours would be like collecting the set and then playing the solos. It would be a little bit different, but it is console and he's supposed to play a bit more. And then finally, we got Rashawn Evans, Marlon Mack, and Gardner Minshew. Guys, that's all 32. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope this gives you guys some insight on some Madden 21 content. Super excited to be seeing stuff. That's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that noti bell. Come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up, guys. It helps out the channel a lot, especially as we're closer. So if you're a supporter, if you've been a loyal guy here, make sure to be liking and commenting and doing all that. That will help us greatly, guys, as we get closer. And comment down below your favorite team and who your fan favorite is that you expect to be seeing. I'm out. Peace.